Hey guys, it's me Greg and I'm back here again with another video. And if you're wondering why I didn't make a video last week, it was because I had family over and I didn't have any free time. So, um, yeah, sorry about that, but I'm back and today I'm going to do a Jackson News video because a lot of news has happened since um, the last video. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is Drake's new song featuring Michael Jackson. So if you didn't know, Drake released a new album recently called Scorpion, which I'll be surprised if you didn't know this is like everywhere. The Billboard charts have like all the songs up there. And one of those songs, Don't Matter To Me, just reached number 9 on the charts. And um, yeah, I mean, just I'm amazed by it. And who knows, maybe we'll get a music video featuring Michael Jackson footage in the near future. Because I, I heard it was going to be a, it was going to be a single, but as of right now, it's not. I think they like decided to do some other song from the album, so... I don't know, hopefully one day we'll get a video, it'll be like released as a single and you'll hear it on the radio, so, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So the next thing I want to talk about is Farewell My Summer Love being released on CD for like the first time in August. So anyway, for those who don't know, Farewell My Summer Love is this album that came out in 1984 to kind of capitalize on the success of Thriller because it was made by Motown and they just used old Michael Jackson tracks that weren't released from like 1973, I think, so... And it just like remixed it, kind of like what Escape did to like Drax. They just kind of made it sound newer than it was. But anyway, this album's gonna be re-released in the I think the UK and France. So yeah, I mean I'm excited. I'm gonna try to import it and pre-order it. So yeah, hopefully maybe in a new items video, maybe in like September, I can show you guys that because I really want it. I like it's pretty amazing. So, I don't think it's ever been like really reissued really. I mean there was this um there was a box at Hello World the Motown solo collection which I do not own but it has like got to be there, Ben, Music Me, Fairway Michael, and I think Fairway My Summer Love, but like this is the first time I know of that they're gonna reissue it with like everything, I guess. Like with the cover and anything, because there was a reissue I think in like Australia, I think. Like in nineteen eighty nine there was a CD release, but yeah, I mean it's like the first time I think they're like really reissuing it and I'm glad because it's been like forever so yeah um i'm excited and yeah i'll put links to buy it in the description because um yeah you probably want it too because i really want it so the next thing i want to talk about i am super excited for because i bought tickets to go see her and that is janet jackson starting her state of the world tour 2018 i am so excited for this i bought tickets again it's like my first time going to see her. I am so excited. It's like in two weeks and yeah, oh my god, just I've been trying like to avoid seeing clips, but it's been hard because I've already like figured out the skin game's gonna be performed, which if you don't know it's a B-side to I think the come back to me single. And yeah, just like other songs, like a lot of songs from All For You, which I am totally down for. I love that album so much. It's my favorite by her. Just, oh my god, I cannot wait. She is going to be so amazing. I can already feel it. And yeah, um, if you guys want me to blog about it, tell me in the comments below, because I would totally be down for that. I would totally blog it. <laughs> but yeah, like just, I'm excited for it. Like I literally been just like telling my parents I'm so excited. And I think they're just like tired of me talking about it, but I cannot wait. This is gonna be like so great. I can already feel it. Just <sighs> I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to something that's not as exciting. Kyron Murray, because he is a jerk. <laughs> but yeah. Um Conrad Murray just said some stupid crap that I really don't want to talk about, and I feel like it is kind of Something I don't know if I should talk about, like, I don't know if it's inappropriate to talk about, because it kind of talks about stuff, like, castration, it's kind of... So yeah, if you're a kid or something, um, I don't know, just... <laughs> it might be kind of inappropriate, I don't know. But Conrad Murray said stuff about Michael Jackson being chemically castrated because he they keep his high-pitched voice, which is stupid, that is not true, obviously. Literally, take a clip from like one of his old albums, like from Got to Be There or Ben, then compare it to like something from Dangerous or Thriller.
the same Cause girl you came and changed The way I want, the way I don't I cannot explain It will not sound the same, so yeah Oh, and also said something about Joe Jackson needs to go to burn in hell, which is bullcrap. Um, yeah. I hate him so much, he does not need to be talking. And if you want to hear more about this, there's another person, History in the Mix again, that's done a way better video. I don't know why I keep promoting him in these videos, but he just, he does it a lot better than I can, so yeah. Anyway, that's really all I gotta talk about this week, so, um, yeah. Just buy tickets to go see Janet Jackson, because you obviously do not want to miss that. She is amazing. And, um... Yeah, until my next video. Bye.